When Australia first heard about COVID-19, very few of us understood how completely it would change our day-to-day -day lives. In medical research institutes across Australia, things were already changing as researchers from a variety of fields, virology, immunology, microbiology, to name a few, started looking at their work and thinking, how can I help? Initially, we had epidemiologists working to understand the spread and impact of the virus in the population, modeling possible future scenarios and advising the government. And once it was on our shores, we had scientists racing to grow the virus in the lab. Successfully achieved by the Doherty Institute and shared with public health organizations across the world. Then, institutes across Australia turned their attention to protecting healthcare workers. Now we have multiple trials testing vaccines and drugs to see if they can trigger an immune response. Scientists also started repurposing existing antivirals, with infectious disease specialists collaborating with institutes and hospitals across Australia to run multi-site trials and recruiting patients from more than 70 hospitals. At the same time, researchers have been looking at our ability to test patients for COVID-19 and found ways to speed up delivery of results from initially days to now hours. This has allowed Australia to be as responsive as possible in our testing and find outbreak areas quickly. Other institutes have developed COVID-19 mental health tools and made them free for the public to access. This flexibility and responsiveness has now resulted in more than 100 projects in progress at medical research institutes across Australia and we'll keep going until we solve this.